Today I'm going to be looking at uh, the Blue Coat SG200. It's a uh, it's a proxy server, but it also does stuff like security functions and antivirus and whatnot. And this particular model, the SG200-B, um, is a one U unit, but it's you know half or third width. Um, at the back, we've got. Uh, this particular one doesn't use a standard PC motherboard, which a lot of security and proxy devices use. So you're kind of limited to a terminal if you want to actually install anything else on this thing. Uh, it's got a stand. I believe this is just a standard um, 19 volt power supply for, say, a um, micro ITX motherboard, uh, USB and single COM port. 200 base T Ethernet ports and a CF card slot which is not used. And it has very nice thumb screws at the back that are captive. Okay, so I've actually been in here already. Um, there is a uh, power connector and a uh, parallel ATA connector that I've removed because they were very sticky. <laughs> they were wrapped in like electrical tape or something, so they were extremely sticky and it dissolved. So I got rid of all that junk. Um, inside you've got a micro ATX, or sorry, uh, yeah, micro ATX size motherboard um, and a standard 3.5 inch uh, hard drive. Uh, this particular one is a 7200 RP RPM 40 gig Seagate. Uh, different models come with different sizes. Some of them come with serial ATA uh, because there's the SG200 A, B, and C. And this is the B, and it comes with the, the 40 gig. Uh, there's one that comes with the 200 gig and so on. Um, the processor has a single heat sink using these horrible, horrible pins. I hate these things so much. They do such a bad job at holding anything to anything and they snap and you can't take them off and ugh, garbage uh, yeah it's a trans meta um, TM 5900 I believe uh, 800 megahertz the um, CPU can be passively cooled with this although they do have a cooling fan in, in here right here um, As you can see, the processor is very small. It's, uh, I believe, 21 millimeters by 21 millimeters. The whole thing uses uh, around six and a half watts, including its uh, north bridge. So it's a pretty low power system. It's like a Pentium 4 instruction set, but very slow. So, you know, it's good for this application, I guess. Uh, there's a mini PCI or PCI slot, not PCIe. Uh, the single fan comes with this nice little thumb screw, and you can take out its little cage. Uh, it's not a uh, tachometer red. It simply runs at full 12 volts. There's a nice little cover here to. that you can put in a second fan. It's a neat little cover. Might be able to reuse that in another case um, since I don't think I'll be keeping this one. And this particular model comes with a 512 meg stick of DDR266. Standard. It's actually made by Corsair. Um, other than that, the motherboard's pretty basic. It, it's simply a um, a standard motherboard with PCI slot which isn't used and you know it does not have serial ATA so my guess is either they cheat and they put in a parallel adapter or some nonsense or the motherboard on the C series is different because this obviously does not have it and their and their specs say that it is a serial ATA drive so I guess I guess the C is different um, the motherboard is actually labeled Hedgehog, uh, specifically the PWA Hedgehog motherboard. There's also the PWA Hedgehog um, 
interconnect. I can't remember what the name of this is, uh, but I'm going to take it out. Uh, this board serves a very special function. What this board does is it allows you to tell the hardware to disconnect itself should the motherboard or the hard drive or something fail. Basically, if the motherboard through a watchdog timer, I assume, encounters some kind of error, locks up, breaks, what have you, this board will trigger its four relays and short the two ethernet ports together. Uh, that way it just completely eliminates this. Now, this is to keep your network uptime at 100%, despite the fact that you lose all the services that this system provides. So it's a trade-off and I, my understanding is it's optional. You don't actually have to turn it on. Uh, the board itself is held in place with a single screw and has two rows of header pins connecting it. There you go. And the, uh, the lattice chip is a ISP Mach 4000 series. Uh, it's a, a programmable logic device. I assume it's probably just doing all the watchdog stuff and controlling all the uh, all the relays. But yeah, genuine Omron relays, very nice. And yeah, there's not too much on it. It does, however, say pass-through card 200. PWA Hedgehog pass-through card. Yep, yeah. that's probably the only interesting thing in it. Other other than that. The, uh, the system's a real basic system. Uh, not much uh, stuff worth harvesting from it, aside from the hard drive, which I can sell on eBay, which will probably recoup the entire cost of me paying for this, which was $15 shipping, plus I want it the actual thing for a dollar. So, yeah, I'll, I'll get most of that back from the hard drive. People like to buy hard drives on eBay for some strange reason. But, yeah, there you go. It's just a simple, uh, simple network appliance. Nothing too fancy in it. Uh, the software, I, I'll try booting another system off this. I don't have a power adapter for this. Well, I do, but it's running my router and I really don't want to bother unhooking it. So I'll probably never power this machine up and just harvest it for parts. But it's pretty interesting. I, I do like the form factor of the case. It's a very small rack design. Focus, focus. Um, but, you know, without, without onboard video, unless you want to install Moonwall or something on it, it's not particularly useful.